Robert, thanks very much for speaking to us here at entertainment.ie. Uh, <laughs> Killing Bono, what attracted you to the role of Ivan? Uh, well, they asked me to do it, so that was it really wasn't. Do you want me to do it? I'll, yeah, I'll do it. Fair That's enough. all right. Um, well, no, um, uh, it was a very, very good script, and I loved the fact that it involved two brothers knocking the sh out of each other yeah. for uh, for a whole movie. I loved the, the honesty of that, you know, because sure, brothers yeah. argue, especially brothers of that age. Mm. Did you feel any sense of trepidation portraying a real character? Because there is actually an Ivan McCormick out there. Do you feel any sense of... Uh... There is. He's mooching around this hotel somewhere. Oh, is he? Really? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, it was, it, was, it was quite... It was a new one for me. I hadn't mm. played a real human with thoughts and stuff yeah. before. <laughs> uh, but uh, the thing was, Nick Ham, who directed this film, he didn't want us to meet Neil or Ivan before the movie because, you know, we're not playing them. We're not depicting them mm. biographically. We're just stealing their names. Yeah, yeah. And loosely their story. Right. So, uh, so we struck up our own dynamic, myself and Ben, about how we would be brothers. We didn't, uh, we didn't study them or anything. We actually just met them near the end of filming yeah. when they made a little cameo. And you have to apologise to them at all for making yeah, them look at... Yeah, in advance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to uh, putting this out in the world as, yeah. as their ambassadors. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. And uh, I was asking this to Ben as well, but did you have any, do you have any background in music yourself? Like, did you ever harbour an ambition back when you were a kid of jumping up on stage in front of two or three hundred people? Ah, uh, yeah. Like, who yeah, doesn't, I, mean, I suppose? Who but... doesn't? I remember my first concert, proper concert, was some, some 41, I almost said 51. Some 41, and uh, I got to the gate, and your man went, how old are you? And it was over 16, so obviously mm. at the point, and I went, 15! <laughs> I was so honest. And did he let you in? No. He didn't? Turned you but away? But then I snuck in, myself and my mate, Hef. There was a bunch of us, but me and my mate didn't get in. And uh, we, uh, we eventually snuck in. The guy just went, turned a blind eye, and just yeah, went, whatever. Uh, but yeah, sorry, ex musical experience. Uh, well, that was an experience, wasn't Ooh, it? Indeed. <laughs> I used to play a, a mean Bowron as a kid. Oh, did you? A mean Bowron. Not a lot of rock and roll Bowron. My mass. Bowron was made by a prisoner. <laughs> really? The Bowron I have was made by an actual man in prison. What did he do? Made Bowrons. In... <laughs> they put him away. He was too good. They put him away for it. <laughs> <laughs> it was a triple homicide. But then he made he made Bowron, so it was fine. You paid no, his I debt to society <laughs> in the form of Bowron. I don't know what he did. I, I thought it rude to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, I played Bowron as a kid. Mm. Um, I used to do flak yoles and stuff. I remember yeah. my, the principal of my primary school used to let me come in late on a Tuesday morning because he knew I was in the pub on Monday night playing, <laughs> playing music. Playing the Bowron, yeah. really? And whistle and banjo a bit as well. Oh, very good, very good. But, you know, they're all very so rock and roll instruments. progression to this then, I suppose. Exactly. Yeah. To the axe, man. Yeah. To the axe. Yeah. Looking like Slash. And did Nick have to coax any sort of rock and roll posturing out of you or did that kind of come naturally to you? Um, well, there was much encouragement of the jumping around on stage. Yeah. It was like, do a lot of that. Just get to the mic for the bit where you're supposed to be singing. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's playback. <laughs> uh, yeah, we were very much encouraged to be as rock starry as we possibly could. And they loved it. And, and the more energy, the better. The more, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Because you can't underplay any of that stuff. Mm. You can just go mad with it. Yeah. It's kind of, I've, I've, seen it, I've seen it written down on pieces of paper before that this is like the younger, cheekier brother of the commitments. Which is obviously kind of an easy comparison to make, but I mean, it's not too bad being mentioned in the same breath as that. Not at all. No, yeah. and I suppose we had the same screenwriters, mm -hmm. Dick, old Dick and Ian, Dick Clement and Ian Lafrenet. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's lovely. I think there is a, a very similar humour. Mm. Uh, very, very Dublin. You exactly. Know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, um, and there's there are long sequences where we're on stage singing, you know, which both about, of the films have. Yeah, yeah, which is about the music, you know. So yeah. There's a lot of similarities can be drawn. Indeed, you know? indeed yeah. Um, about Love Hate, that was yeah, the really good, really good uh, drama miniseries there. Mm. Is there any chance you'd be going back to Irish screens at all? Yeah, you, you are anything in there the works. There is a chance. There is uh, an absolute. Is there fact. anything in the works? Yes, but again, uh, I've already said it earlier. But I mean, I was told not to say. Oh, uh, then you probably shouldn't. Don't want to get in trouble. Don't want to yeah. get in trouble. No, I said it like twice earlier. <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh, 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 I can't be, I can't, look, I'm in an interview, I can't be keeping secrets. I suppose yes is the answer, right? so that's, we're happy with that. Yes, okay, is, yes, exactly, I answered the question, yeah, didn't you I? you did, you did, like a pro. But, um, yeah, and I, I'm, yeah. Can I ask back you very briefly, I've been told to wrap up here, but season three of Misfits, mm. what's the story with that, is that? 
It's happening, yeah. It's it's, happening. it's in uh, mad preparation mode at the moment, and uh, and yeah, yeah, when that's going to be hopefully screens. I'll be involved. Uh, there's, there's a few gigs that I'm absolutely doing, mm. and they clash, you know. Oh, but uh, you know, we'll see what kind of schedule see how it happens. And, you know, cool. We'll see if it works out, you know. Danny, well, Robert, listen, thanks for speaking to us. Pleasure, dude. Pleasure.